This game is nothing but kicking ass and taking names. I am Tom and this, this is Doom, a very successful follow up to all the Doom games that came before, with some serious highs and some serious lows. But make no mistake, this game is awesome just for the combat alone. But if you've played it, let me know what you think in the comments below, because this is my first ever Doom game, although I have seen some gameplay from the last couple of games. But enough, enough nostalgia, let's dive in. Let me start off by saying that this game is a technical masterpiece. Doom runs as smooth as a game can run, with almost 200 FPS at all times with everything on Ultra at 1080p. Now I know that gaming with a GTX 1080 at 1080p is overkill, but when you have a 144Hz monitor, this game is a treat just to look at. But what this means for you is that Doom runs smooth on almost all rigs that exist nowadays. Now what else is also incredible is the music. And before I tell you anything about the music in the game, I personally have to say that I'm not into metal or scream music whatsoever. But while slaying demons and punching them all in the face, there is no better soundtrack than what Doom has here. The music fits perfectly during combat, and when the combat stops after you killed all the enemies in the area, the ambience music takes over to prevent the scenery from becoming lifeless. It's absolutely amazing. And do I really have to say how amazing the combat is? But to be completely honest, the combat is extremely simple, but that is just what the game is trying to accomplish. You need to put your brain in standby mode while you run around, shoot demons in the face and have fun. That is what Doom is all about, and it does so flawlessly. The animations are perfectly made, the gore is awesome and detail, and let's not forget about a little bit of humor from time to time. Also, while we're on the topic of combat, the weapons are just fucking cool. Simple as that really. Some came back from previous dooms like the super shotgun and of course the BFG. Man I love the BFG. How can you not love this thing? The acronym alone stands for BIG FUCKING GUN. I mean come on! But however, although the BFG is more than awesome, my favorite is still the Gauss Cannon. Purely for the fact that I love high tech real guns. The game gives you to them in a reasonably pace so you don't get bored while using the same gun for hours on end. Not that they become boring at all though. And while we're on the topic of doing things hours on end, the pacing of the game is perfect as well. Every time you think, okay well now I would like to do something new, the game gives it to you. This can be new guns, new grenades, new types of enemy to kill, or new traversal mechanics like jump boots. Doom manages to keep you entertained for the entirety of the campaign, which lasts about 9-10 to 10 hours on a regular difficulty. Although it isn't really challenging, I died about 5 times in the campaign, at, in the entirety, and all of them was because I missed a platform while traversing and falling to my death. So I would recommend playing on the harder difficulties for a real challenge. Talking about challenges, in each level you have 3 challenges to complete in order to gain more upgrade points for your weapons. In addition to this you also have more than enough secrets that you can find as you traverse the level. I wasn't really into this myself, but it doesn't compromise the fun, as you can unlock a lot of upgrades by just killing demons and earning points through that. Now, as sad as it seems, the game does have some pretty big negatives. And as you might have seen, the footage is all single player, because the multiplayer is just a clusterfuck and forgettable as all hell. Like, imagine this. I just finished the campaign, I've just been praising the hell out of. I'm a bit sad that it's over, but I'm more than happy with it overall. I think, okay, I have a feel for the game and it has been so awesome, let's have some fun with the multiplayer. I jump into the menu and I am greeted by Call of Duty-esque layout with taunts, skins and loadouts. At this point I am sitting here like... What? That just makes no fucking sense, I mean it's just bullshit. Fuck. Oh my, 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 my. I start playing and it's just running around firing guns. 
little to no awesome music, little to no traversal, and just a really forgettable experience. And let me double down on that. It's shit. Do not buy this game for the multiplayer. It is so important I even highlighted bright red in the script for you. Now the story in the campaign itself is as well mediocre at best. But it is not what the game is about. The game is about kicking demon ass and that is what it does so right. So I won't discredit Doom as much for it. Now you also have snap map where you can design your own levels and this is not really a negative thing but I wasn't that impressed with it. I'm sure that some talented people can make some cool stuff here but I haven't found anything yet. So until I find something that's really noteworthy I put it here between the negatives. Doom is the game you had in your childhood that was just dumb fun just for what it was. When you pick this game up again in a couple of years from now, you'll play it again and you'll have just as much fun as now. The game runs smooth, has awesome music and kick-ass gruesome gameplay. The only thing that is holding it back is the multiplayer and it does so extremely heavily. So is it worth the 60 bucks? I'd say no. If it's on sale and you're able to pick it up for 40 or less, I'd say go buy it. You're doing yourself a treat. But 60 bucks is just too much to warrant a, granted, extremely awesome 10 hour campaign you'll play twice. However, if you're a little bit creative or if you just like playing other people's creations, I think Snap Map is good enough to do make it worth the 60 bucks. It just wasn't for me, but it doesn't mean it can't be for you. So that is why I'll say Doom is after all still worth the money. <laughs>